I must be satisfying some Freudian need for milk. It's the morning scramble. Z102.9. 7.39 now with the morning scramble. Dance and Eric Hansen and Claire. 99% of the time, the best of buds. Yes, and we agree on many, many things. But then we'll come across something, and it's usually just like a minute minuscule little thing but if you let those things sit they will fester and it's, become a bigger deal like when you pick at a scab yeah and pick at it and it doesn't get any better quit picking so our scab picking solution is to just get rid of it and whoever loses loses and whoever wins wins and we call it jury and hurry and then it's just water under the bridge right yeah to have all of the analogies scab under a band-aid stop it <laughs> Yeah, it's too scabby. I think we have too much scab talk. Today. Considering we're going into now talking about cereal and milk. Yeah, it's a it's yeah. a food based argument. It is. We had a lot of uh, different kinds of nut milks for Taste It Tuesday this week. Uh, but one way that we love to enjoy milk is to have it with your favorite breakfast cereal. And while I'm not uh, a nut milk uh, connoisseur, mm-hmm. I am not a customer of the product. I do like good old skim straight from the cow milk. And when I have it on cereal, I drink. Every last drop that remains in the bowl. You drink the leftover milk. Yes. That is left over after you finish your cereal. It's not left over. It's part of the delicacy that is breakfast cereal with milk. Not if you do it the right way. Well, the, what is the... Okay, here's the way you do it. Okay. Take bowl, yes. or I have actually started using a, a mug. Uh-huh. What? Yeah. Well, I'm going to end up drinking it, so it's an easier process. Stop it. Fill it with cereal. Add milk to taste. Consume cereal. Yummy, yum, yum, yum. Now I want to take you to court for drinking cereal Get out of a mug. to the bottom of the mug. It's a larger mug. It's just like having hot chocolate with marshmallows in it, right? You want to have a lot of surface area. But it's and, not. And then, and then, you drink that milk. There's absolutely 100% nothing wrong with that. It's part of the dish, right? You added milk anyway. It's an ingredient. So why not consume all of it? Mm. Are we not brought up to finish our plates? Clean plate club, clean bowl club, clean mug club. Are we not raised on milk as humans? It's in our DNA. I'm just going back to infant Eric, right? I'm going back to the earlier primal times. Okay. I must be satisfying some Freudian need for milk. It also tastes awesome. <laughs> it's sweet. It has the lingering flavors of whatever I had, probably Lucky Charms, or chocolatey, if you've ever had Cocoa Puffs or Count Chocula, and then it's like, bonus chocolate milk that you didn't even have to order at the store. It's right there. It's in your bowl. You tip it back or use a mug, drink it back. You're done. It's less to wash out at the end of the day. Uh, You clean out the dish, put it away, and repeat the next morning. Why not? You drink milk that's left in the bowl with the cereal. It's part of the cereal experience. I do not, sir. I do not. I have perfected my ratios. The level of milk to cereal must be perfect, so there's not a lot of milk left over in the bowl because I'm not going to drink it. Leftover milk in a cereal bowl is infected milk. It is damaged goods. I don't like the way it tastes. Um, I've especially fruity cereals. Fruity cereals and milk is a no-go for me. It's a non-starter. Fun colors in there? Yeah, that are not natural. And like that fakey citric acid in liquid is yeah. like, no. You no. know going in when you're having the cereal what it is. And I, I hear your argument on for chocolate milk. Yes. But mm-hmm. it is not the same as actual chocolate well, milk. Clearly. It is not the same because it has like the cereal byproduct in it. It's it's tainted milk. You don't drink the the water after you boil pasta. You don't drink your bath water. Like, you throw that stuff out. So throw away the milk that is left over in your cereal bowl. It's not wasteful if you're pouring the ratios right. You just brought math to breakfast. Yes, I did. Why? Because it's the responsible thing to do. Okay, I say... Fill it up with milk and cereal and eat and drink all of it. Yes, you drink the milk left in the cereal bowl. Cannot do it. Won't do it. I do not drink the milk left over in a cereal bowl. How about you? What do you do? Callers, one through however many callers we need this morning. How about you? You just never know. We'll find out who wins based on your phone calls, and those phone calls start right now. I'm 100% with Eric. I drink it out of a mug.
Yeah. And out of a mug. Oh, shame on you. It's almost like a double shame. vote. Shame. Moving on to this call. It's Jerry in a hurry. Do you drink the milk left over in the cereal bowl? Yes or no? Yes, absolutely. There's a two. Where well, are my people at? Well, keep the hits coming. <laughs> Come on. Hey, it's Jerry in a hurry. Do you drink the milk left over in a cereal bowl? Yes or no? Nope, Claire, all the way. There you Thank go, Claire. You. Uh, there's some good common sense. Hey, it's Jerry in a hurry. You've got uh, cereal in a bowl. You've finished. What do you do with the milk? Do you drink it or dump it? Drink it. Another drinker <sighs> of milker. Can't do Thank it. Thank you. Hey, it's Jerry in a hurry. Uh, do you drink that milk left over in the cereal bowl after the cereal? Nope, I don't drink the milk. You don't? Just dump it no. out? No. Yep, I okay. just dump it out. Okay. It's that simple, Eric. It's dollars down the sink, Claire. Hi, it's Jerry in a hurry. Uh, when you're having cereal, do you drink the leftover milk in the bowl or dump it out? Drink it. Claire's straight up wrong. Straight up Whoa! wrong, Claire. Whoa! Wow. Those are fighting words. Uh, do you got a 4-2 just to make sure we're on the same page? Yeah, 4-2. All right, we move through to this call. Hey, Jerry in a hurry, do you drink the milk left in the cereal bowl, yes or no? So before I answer, I... Before what? Um, so I, I need to add an argument point for Eric. Okay. Uh, the uh, chocolate cereal actually uses Hershey chocolate cocoa. Thank you. So it is chocolate milk. It is chocolate milk. Yeah. And are you a milk drinker out with, your, after cereal? Oh, byproduct. Um, well, just with the argument, obviously, I'm I'm definitely with Eric. Yay! I we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Back to the phones we go, and Jerry in a hurry. Okay, caller, are you drinking the milk in the bowl or dumping it out like Claire? Drinking the milk. Drinking the milk. Drinking the milk. We should have a theme song. Drinking the milk. Apparently. Drinking the milk. Where are my people at? Uh, this puts me at a six to two, so I just need this call. We'll come back. We'll come back. We'll find out. Hey, Jerry in a hurry, do you drink the milk left over in the cereal bowl? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. No. Come on, Claire. I You try it again. Uh I don't think Is so. Is it the wrong cereal? I don't what know. What do you think? It's just gross to me. Caller, I do want to thank you. You put me over the top, so that gave me the win seven to two. Ouch. And then all your, like, slobber runoff from missing your mouth. But Blech. it's a sugary slobber, and it's fantastic. The Morning Scramble. C102.9.